you get an idea of you know how uh, the other interviews went, just kind of take a look at that video. And to be honest, it's not an interview either. Here, go and sit down. Watch it so we can see, so okay. you can see what we're gonna ask you about, and okay. you can prepare. Why did she put that picture in there? Okay. Are right, you ready? I think so. What is the what the heck? Who gave it? This is for Ebony, this is mom, dad. Well, I would say some of the emotions are definitely uh, pride, joy. Go Jets, go. Hi Krista, as you know, Winnipeg is really caught up in the excitement of the Jets making the NHL playoffs. Um, we're caught up in it too, but we're more caught up in the fact that you're gonna be graduating very soon and coming home. Hi Franzi, greetings from Germany. We hope you feel well and you have a nice day today. Are you surprised to hear from us from Germany? Bear with me as I try to get through this. Um. She used to say all the time, volleyball is my life. Volleyball is my life. But once she learned that when volleyball fails, God is always there, she has become a stronger person through her adventures with volleyball. A stronger Christian person. Sure. We remember very well the first time, especially in the first four or six weeks. It was hard for you. You were so homesick. You had to leave your family and your friends. As you probably know, I cried all the way to the U.S. border, just wondering why, why had we provided you this opportunity to earn this U.S. scholarship. I was regretting it. But you know, Mom, I was an iPad in no time following the student team and realizing that you have been given the opportunity of a lifetime. I can't explain to you how much your time in the game has meant to me. Uh, not so much the game, but the friendship we share. I'm going to miss watching you play. But more, more than that, I'm going to miss talking to you about the game, meeting you out there by the dugout after the game, getting a hug when you're happy, seeing your tears when you're sad. So she was so excited when she found out that she was recruited for UNT to play softball because she always wanted to play at UNT. She was so excited. Kathleen, you have grown up to be a very nice young lady. You're humble. You're funny, and you, you have you are a great team player. And when she became a starter, yeah. uh, you know, on the starting uh, lineup in her freshman year, uh, that was one of my most proudest moments. That I was very proud that you know all the work that she had put in, all the doubts, because you know she's five seven, five six and a half, <laughs> and uh, everybody said she couldn't be a hitter, she couldn't do this, she couldn't do that, and she proved all the naysayers wrong and. Uh, you know, that was very uh, rewarding for me. But after a while, we recognized you as the old one. Happy, with a smile on your lips, and with the sun in your heart, always in a good mood. You had to work a lot for your sport and your studies, but you did it. You did it, I heard, although you were injured, I heard you practiced on a chair to practice with the coach, Volley. We recognized there was lots of disappointments for you at times, but we were never disappointed with you. We are always proud and amazed of your accomplishments. The swim team is an amazing group of individuals. Each of you, um, I admire your dedication, the hard work that you must do in and out of the pool to maintain your academics. 
Every one of you, including you, have a work ethic that's consistent, and you never doubt the fact, all of you, that hard work is going to make you successful. Proud of what you've accomplished, proud that you're going to graduate with your degree, proud of the friends you made. I hope that you pursue your life's goals after softball with the same passion you did with softball. So after graduation, sky's the limit. Cat, we love you very much. Yep. We love you, Cat. We're very proud of you. And may God bless you in your future endeavors. Love you. So for you, Ebony, our baby girl, we love you. We praise God for you, and we are thankful for him, to him, for allowing you to be so successful your four years at UNT, going on your fifth year at UNT. And thank you, UNT, for taking our child, loving her, taking care of her, and Coach V, you're all right. For me, the proudest moment was your bachelor graduation and I could be present with your 87 years old grandma. We think your decision for college tennis at UNT was the right one. Thank you, Francisca. Thank you to your coaches, your team and your friends. Franzi is always saying that you are a second family. Bye-bye, Francie. See you soon. Take care. Um, I love you. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss watching you play, but I'm going to miss having my buddy around. <laughs> Too good. I know you will. Love you, too. Continue to lead by example, and you'll be happy. We wish you the best. And we look forward to seeing you in about five weeks. Yeah, see you soon, love. See you, P. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Why'd you do that? <laughs> 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 <laughs>